Hello there, my lovely. Did you forget to press record on your microphone when you recorded this? Well, I did, and so now it's dubbed. Well, just the first part. Anyway, today we're doing a bit of an AMRAP based on the floor. I'm Natasha from Diverse Personal Training. Welcome to this video. I am here for suggestions only and for you to have a look at just how cute my outfit is. It is cute, cute, cute. All right, let's get started. <laughs> workout, no equipment required, just your fabulous self and a yoga mat if you like. I've got some nice squishy carpets so I'm all set. Let's get started with a bit of a warm up and just some dynamic movement just to open up some joints, wake up some muscles, increase blood flow, increase that fluid that lubricates our joints. Let's just get all ready. So I have to admit today I was a bit I had no idea what I wanted to do. I know I wanted to move my body and I know I'm going to be moving my body with some chores today, a la vacuum. But I did want to put aside some time to focus on some muscle groups that I really just want to work on stabilizing. And I want to stabilize these because I have noticed that I'm a little bit more injury prone in these areas. And to be honest, I think these areas are injury prone for the majority of the population. They are my shoulders and my lower back. Now I have to admit, my lower back has been doing wonderfully since I've started stretching a little bit more of my hip flexors, which we'll do at the end of today. So that's these bad boys. And that's because just of the way that some of the hip flexors where they attach in the lower back, um, looking at you, psoas, um, <laughs> really stretching those can really help um, ease lower back tension. But then again, everyone's got a different story. And if you know you need a personal touch, get in touch with a personal trainer. And if you know that you need to um, really concentrate on good technique, there's certain um, movements you need to avoid, whatever it is, get in touch with a medical specialist or allied health practitioner. So you'll notice I'm moving my body just in whatever way. Now, if you find kneeling on the ground ain't so great for your knees, really encourage you to look at a few different options before ruling it out entirely. But of course, you know your body best. So I really do encourage, get some really good yoga mats. Um, perhaps consider where you distribute your weight. So you can see I'm leaning back a little bit, a little bit less pressure on the knees, but everyone's different. All right, and tap and tap and reach and point. You're cute, you're cute. Been in very cute mood today, I don't know what's going on. So my toes are staying where they are. I'm just moving around. All right, I'm gonna sit back down here. You can sit on your gluteus maximus if you like. Just getting all over, a lot of movement. How about we do some happy, angry cats? All right, so hips 90 degrees and shoulders 90 degrees. And we are going to roll and roll, roll. Ugh. Very good. How are you finding it? Oh, my hair. My hair already. I'm going to do one more. All right. I'm going to do a few punches to the sky. Nothing excessive. I'm not going for a lot of power, just wanting to wake up some muscles. And then back down. And I go again. And again. So today's workout, we're doing um, a few movements. I'm just gonna flow. 
So it's a bit of a go at your own pace, but you're welcome to join me in my pace. We're doing a few different movements, including planks, push-ups, kneeling, um, lateral leg raises, um, what else? Sitting, doing a sit-up with a bit of boxing and leg raises. Now I will say with the sit-ups, that is something I normally don't do. Believe it or not, sit-ups don't actually do a whole lot. Shocker, I know. But I have to admit, I kind of feel like my body needs to do them today. I just, that type of movement really is resonating with me. All right. I think we're adequately warmed up, but if you need a little bit more time, press pause and do whatever it is you've got to do for you. Okay, my lovely, we are going to start with a kneel to up and a kneel down. Then we're going to get into a plank position. I'm going to stay on my knees. I'm going to plank, hold it, and then I'm going to do a push up. Then I'm going to come back up to here. And then I'm going to come back down. I'm going to come back down this way so you can see me. And I'm going to do one lateral leg raise. Remember, pelvic floor is on, core is on. The idea is that we don't rock and roll anyway, okay? We're staying switched on and we're smooth. And then you can roll and do the other side or you can switch like me. <laughs> Whatever works for you. I know you want to see my beautiful face, so I'll just keep facing you. And then we're going to lie on our back and we're going to do a sit up. Now, if a sit up ain't so good for you, stay here and do one, two, three, four. Otherwise, come with me. We sit up, we do one, two, three, four. We come back down and we do a leg raise. Legs together, they come slowly down and slowly back up. And then, we do it all again. We kneel. We come up, butts up, butts down. We plank. We push up. We come back to kneel. We do our lateral leg raise. So a lot of today's workout is getting from point A to point B which I think it's a fabulous incidental workout, but it also helps you appreciate all the different muscles that are used throughout our life, throughout our day. <sighs> Slowly, pelvic floor on, cough and hold, tummy muscles. All right, back to the start. This is it, my friends. This is the whole routine. We're just gonna do it over and over. Now, if you feel the need to do this a bit faster or a bit slower, you can do so. It's your body, it's your rules. You may also choose to substitute a certain exercise. Once again, your body, your rules. So you do whatever you gotta do. All right. I need some water. Now remember when you punch, you're not throwing yourself and your back's nice and straight, okay? Straight back, straight back, straight back. Good posture, good posture, tummy is working, woo! And with this, if your knees hurt doing, uh, sorry, your knees, if your lower back hurts, I encourage you, bend your knees a bit and really think, squeeze the tummy, squeeze the tummy. Your tummy is the powerhouse. Your tummy gets you through, beautiful. <laughs> Your tummy is what stabilizes your lower back in that. So we kneel up, butts up, we come down. We plank, I'm gonna go on my toes this time. Woo! And I'm gonna come down for a push up. <laughs> and lateral leg raise elegantly. Don't rock and roll the body, pelvic floor is on. Keep calm and still. Swap sides. Pelvic floor is on. Core is on, don't rock and roll. Smooth and controlled. Smooth and controlled. Lying on the back. Let's go for this sit up. One, two, 
three and four. Straight posture, good posture. This is where your core works to keep the good posture. Keep the good posture. Woo! All right. Lateral, not lateral, just a leg raise. Up they come. Try and relax the neck and shoulders. That's what I struggle with. Like years ago, my physio picked up on it. She said, Tash, you got to work on your core because that is why your shoulders are being recruited to help you out. Thought it sounded very odd, but she was right. So, if you find yourself getting a little bit bored with the repetition, stand up, do a dance, do a burpee, do a squat, do some boxing. Stick with one exercise. If you're really enjoying these lateral leg raises, who am I to tell you to stop doing them? Do it girl, do it boy, do it person, do it you. I've forgotten, sorry. <laughs> Talking too much. Okay, mind back to the workout. Sit up, pelvic floor on, cough and hold tummy. <coughs> All right, they're on, let's go. One and two and three and four. Oh yeah. All right, tummy muscles on, come on Tash. Pelvic floor is on, squeezing, core is on, let's go. Oh. That felt so much more stable. Oh, I loved that. <laughs> also, if you're feeling like this workout's a little bit stale, but you want to come back to it one day, playlist, friends. Get whatever playlist that you like. I love me. A little bit of Lizzo. I think she's fab. I also like working out to ABBA. ABBA has some really good songs that have really good pace. For some of these types of workouts um but yeah comment below who do you like to work out to and why there is also that special place uh where i like to listen to some metal i do like a little bit of metal every now and then i've done it again you gotta catch me all right here we go sit up Whoa! So with sit-ups, there is this very common, not common thing to do, reaction. That's probably the best word for it. You may find yourself curling your back. Um, so you kind of go into this unnatural posture. You really want to avoid that when you do a sit-up because that means you're not recruiting your core and your abdominals. It means you're relying a little bit on manipulating forces to get you up. If you need a bit of reliance on anything, use momentum. So watch my hands as I do it. If you need a bit of momentum, get your legs a little bit further away rather than up here. Walk them out, hands are here and you can swing them up. But try and keep that straight back and try and think as much as you can. Pelvic floor core, pelvic floor core, pelvic floor core. As much as you can. Same with these bad boys. It's like a sit up in reverse, okay? We're hinging from the hips. So with le uh, leg raises and um, sit ups, it really is about using the core to stabilize the back and prevent any sort of um, bending that is funky and places a strain on the back. And it's all about keeping the straight back alignment and hinging from the hip joint. I'm gonna say that again because it's a really important thing. Sit-ups and leg raises are about a straight back using the core and abdominals to hinge from the hips. So if you want to watch me, here are my hips. This is where I want to hinge. I want to keep this as straight as possible. Okay, tummy on, core on. Oh, I really focused on that one. All right, back down, hinging from the hips, not from the back. From the hips, from the hips, from the hips, and tummy, tummy, tummy. Beautiful. Now, everyone's going to have different abilities and strengths. Some people will find it way easier than others. 
doesn't make you less of a person if you struggle. I'm not less of a PT because I struggle doing a sit-up. I struggle doing a sit-up because I don't really do them a lot. I find other things more appealing and better for my back. But, but, sorry, sorry Boston. Um, on the times that I do like to use a sit-up, I am going to struggle a bit. I am going to get a little bit out of breath. I might get shaky. Doesn't matter. Exercise is for us. Exercise is for me. It's not about looking a certain way. As long as you're doing it safely, you're good. All right, pelvic floor on, core on. Oh, that was a bit smoother. I liked that. That felt nice. Concentrate on the way down, touch ground. Oh. So you may find that you're really enjoying the, um, the attention to keeping your back straight. Um, fabulous. Uh, I recommend that you look at all other core and abdominal exercises that allow you to do so. How are we going? We've done quite a few of these. I wasn't sure if this workout would bring me so much joy. I am having a ball. I like, I like that I'm moving around so much on the floor. I am moving so much and I haven't stood up yet. I don't know why. I think that's just a great way. Whoa, okay. And do that one again. <laughs> All right, let me concentrate. Ground, core, floor. Let's go better. So, there we are. Um, totally forgot what I was saying. Probably shouldn't talk so much when I'm exercising. Serves me right. It'll come back to me. <laughs> All right. Oh yes, um, just doing all sorts of core and abdominal exercises. There are so many out there. There's also incidental core work. So I love, it's a bit hard now with COVID restrictions, but I love boxing with people. Just, um, you know, just with some pads, focus pads and all that. So much fun. And if you switch on your core, so you cough and hold, and if you turn on your pelvic floor, you can get an absolutely wonderful stabilizing core workout. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> so don't let people tell you, oh, you should be able to do so and so by now. You need to be doing it this way. Yeah, da, 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 da. Unless they are qualified and you have engaged them, not they haven't just come and said, this is my opinion. If you have engaged them and they're qualified and they're talking about your technique, listen to them. And even then, ask them to really be mindful of their language. No shoulds. Should be all about. I invite you to consider. You may wish to reflect on using this workout for this purpose. If you want to stabilize this part of your back, I invite you to use your core and pelvic floor and think of a straight back. Use momentum in your arms if you need to. But you don't have to feel like you're getting less of a workout because you're not able to stay at the same pace as me. Blah, blah, blah. Just be mindful of people's language. Not everyone has that warm invitation style language. And I have to admit, I found that language through health at every size. Health at every size is this paradigm if you don't know about it, look it up. It's a movement, it's a paradigm. Um, it's a few different things. But for me, it was a framework of ideas 
that look to benefit people's health, no matter what size or shape they are. It considers the social determinants of health, which after studying my master's in public health, I can tell you right now, get frequently overlooked by quite a few people. They're acknowledged, but they're just not incorporated. But what I like about health at every size, you literally reflect and look at the social determinants of health that are working for and against someone's health and you address them if you can. And if you can't, you look at doing some advocacy work. The health at every size also has this um, discussion and concept about using language that's based on like invitations. So I invite you to consider, I invite you to come down on the floor with me because even if someone wants something prescriptive, like I know I do, if I've got a shoulder injury, I want my physio to give me some sort of prescriptive series of exercises and this is what you should avoid. This is what you should do more of. It is still more encouraging and sustainable if I take the framework of, well, I could do my shoulder stabilization work today, or I could not. And then because you use the word could, you reflect a bit more on the benefits. And because you reflect more on the benefits, you're not just doing it as a knee jerk response to please someone. It's not an extrinsic motivator. Using the word could, looking at things from an invitation, starts to break down extrinsic motivators and factors and starts to get you to think a bit more about intrinsic motivators. How do you feel? What do you really want? Is it bringing you joy? Is it sustainable? And that intrinsic motivation, there is a bunch of work showing that that is what helps us develop that healthy relationship with exercise. Intrinsic. What do you want for you? Not because society has said something. All right, this is gonna be my last round before I stretch and cool down. Come with me if you like. Feel free to take a break, of course, or head back to the start and do it all over again. Up to you. I'm a bit more quiet now because I'm just trying to enjoy the movement now knowing that this is the last of this session. Lovely. <laughs> So come with me with some uh, stretching if you'd like. I am going to focus on hip flexors as our leg raises and our um, sit-ups have really used those a lot. Also going to do some glute work as we um, did some glute work and uh, just some very general kind of stretching. So come with me first in this lunge position. Now if your back's cool with it and if you have no uh, contraindications too. I invite you to tuck your pelvis first. You may already feel a stretch here and then bring your body weight forward. Oh, lovely. <laughs> so you know that release that you may be feeling that stretch here. I want you to just really feel it. Turn your attention to this area. And if it feels good, I want you to gently remind yourself that is one reason why you exercise. It's an intrinsic motivator. 
it's not society saying you'll feel better you felt better there all right toes towards nose knee extended back straight bend at the hips I'm gonna do a slight one on this side hamstring is feeling better today but I did just twinge it a bit yesterday so this actually feels really lovely if you want more of a calf stretch bring that toe a little bit closer oh that feels divine oh I love it so remember you know what's best for you and if you're feeling that kind of stretch is adequate just by being here then that's all you need all right we're going to come back to that lunge we're going to do this a few times lunge that pelvis if you have a big tummy feel free to move it out of the way maybe bring this leg out to the side a bit more whatever you need to do for your body if you do need to move your tummy and you're feeling frustration about that my little message today is I hope in the future you don't it's just something that you have to do for your body. It's not a bad thing. If anything, it's wonderful that you're honoring your body. You're aware of what you need to do to maximize your stretch. I think some people in the classes that I teach, when I say, if you need to move your belly, you may, or you know, uh, you can, or whatever it is, um, or if you know if you need to move your boobs so that you can you know get better arm range or whatever um, there are some people who really um, connect with that invitation um, they feel that it's quite welcoming and then there are other people who it's incredibly confronting because of their personal experiences and weight stigma that they've faced internalized weight um, uh, sorry I'm losing all my words today uh, basically all sorts of internalized guilt or shame and a lot of that is brought on by society not you you are wonderful as you are you're not a better person for working out I just hope you feel better for working out that's what I want people to feel I feel like that's one of my life's missions I would love to create a space or to at least put out in the world that you know that that exercise is really all about how you feel and you don't have to yeah, when you exercise, you're not a better person for it. You're not morally better. You're not more virtuous. You don't deserve more respect than the person next to you. None of that should apply because A, you have no idea what the other person is going through and B, it's none of your business. And C, we all contribute to society in different ways and in ways that you may not even realize or other people may not realize. But if exercise makes you feel good, that's, that's just, yeah, I just want everyone to feel good with exercise. And I think that looks different for everyone. For some people, it's whacking on a YouTube video and listening to some random chick talk about how cute she is and <laughs> health at every size. And some people, it's joining a running group. And other people, it's dancing. In some people it's weightlifting um, God there are so many cool ways to move your body out there rock climbing oh I would love to get into some rock climbing later COVID does make it a bit hard but I can work on now things that will help me I know a good core and shoulder stabilization is gonna be um, very important to that so I can work on that now and I invite you to do that as well. If you have 
things that you're like, oh, post COVID, I want to do da 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 da. Awesome. But use this time to help prepare you. And if you don't get it done, once again, you're not failing as a human being. We're in a pandemic. Go easy on yourself. So we're just going to finish with this uh, two last stretches. First of all, coming down onto the elbows and just enjoying that hip abduction, abduction, sorry. So a bit of a inner thigh stretch. Thank you so much for all your comments and lovely feedback. Um, I can tell a few of you who are really enjoying the body positive kind of vibe I have. If you really want a bit more of it, I encourage you to check out my Instagram page. I keep that same type of vibe there. And um, yeah, you don't have to by any means, but I'd love to see you there. Uh, as always, comments, feedback, welcome. I'm an open book. Let's finish this last pigeon pose and we're done. Thank you for coming today. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and take care and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.